Welcome everybody to the kitchen because I want to show you the tricks and little secrets we have in the professional kitchen for preparing food for the masses. So today we're doing little bacon guacamole burgers for the station. You're gonna see some of them walking back here behind me because they're already in the line preparing up all their burgers. And I wanna show you how easy it is. I fixed enough for the 50 people here in the station, right here in this kitchen. So it's easy, you don't need to have special equipment to do it. I went to Costco, I bought the pre-made patties, which are great, you can form them yourself if you want to. A little baking sheet here that I have a cooling rack seated into it. Put those burgers right on top of there. These will fit six burgers. And then you have three racks in the oven generally. And this is where you use convection in the oven. Convection means multiple rack baking. And so if you don't have convection, you just have the bake, you're gonna have to rotate some of those racks so that they all cook evenly or put them on convection because that's what you do is put multiple racks in there. Season those with your favorite seasonings and into the oven they go. These two I just pulled out of the oven and you can see you can make a lot of burgers very quickly. When they're off of there I put them into a chafing dish like this to keep them warm. The bacon easiest thing in the world to cook. They're actually done in layers, guys. Little pieces, I've cut them in half so they fit on top of the burger. And then parchment paper, the bacon, another sheet of parchment paper, more bacon, and one more sheet. So there's about three layers that cook all at once in the oven. So this is a good thing when you are actually prepping for a large crowd. You don't have to go stand out by the grill and get hot and smoky on that one. But how can you caramelize some onions for these burgers in the masses? Mm. I'll show you when we come back. Hey, that's been very interesting. We can smell. All right, 60 to 60 now with a minute and a half left. There's your update on that BYU Duquesne game. Ooh, uh, so people are much. <laughs> How's it looking in there, Chef? You know, um, I, I, I'm so efficient at, at what I'm doing in here. There's nobody else back here to feed. <laughs> We'll be back there soon. All right, I'm just waiting for you, but let me show you what is important when you actually are feeding a crowd. So I showed you how to prep food for the masses that is just done right here in the kitchen. I didn't have any special equipment. You don't have to have it. You can do this. Set up a station that has a flow pattern to it, starting with plates always. And then for these, of course, the buns, there's lettuce, the hamburgers, the accoutrements to go on the hamburgers, caramelized onions, the bacon, and then they come in and go right out behind me here, however you wanna set them up, to grab some chips for what they need. So working smarter, not harder, when you're feeding the masses is key in the kitchen. And that's what we do in the professional kitchen is we set up these patterns and prep stations and things like that around where everybody can just come right through a flow and boom, they're fed already. But I wanted to show you the trick of doing caramelized onions because this is one thing, it just surprises me how many people don't realize this. So this is just one onion. You can have 20 onions if you want for this matter. Put a little bit of olive oil on them, put some seasoning, however you want to season them, onto it, toss it so everything's coated, and then onto a large baking sheet, a baking sheet, into the oven, 350 degrees, and then you're gonna just, about every 10 minutes, just kinda stir them, toss them around, on that sheet until they come out a beautiful golden color, just like this. And then you have caramelized onions to go on the burgers. It is a delicious thing to do. The recipe for this will be on cookingwithchefbrian.com or KUTV.com. I gotta go finish posting it, so be sure to go grab it for Cooking with the Masses. All right, we'll see you back there in a few minutes. Okay, yeah, thanks, can't wait to try.